Welcome back! Our topic for today is Freshwater Generator One of the important machinery on board This topic, I show you how Freshwater works and the parts Okay, let's go And how seawater converts to freshwater Okay This is the freshwater generator shell and tube type by Dong Donghua and Tech. This is the maker Donghua and Tech. This side I show you this is the adapter. Going to the condenser. This is the condenser. The top is the condenser, and then the below is the heater, or other called evaporator. This is the overview of the fresh water generator. Later, I will explain the principle of fresh water generator this one is the chemical that we use maxi buff maxi buff plus by unitor this is the one that we used okay. the side this is the overview this side this is our steam supply for our fresh water generator our fresh water generator has two heat source heat for the steam and heat for the jacket cooling HT right now we are using a jacket cooling HD source for our heat below it has a three valves the coming from the inlet inlet for HD jacket cooling the left side is the uh, for now it's the right side it's the outlet and then the left is the inlet inlet jacket water inlet and the center is the bypass it means if you don't want to use fresh water generator just close the in and out and then open bypass right now the bypass is closed the in and out is open that is the source for our heating below so as you can see there is a a loop going to that one to our main engine cooling the lower part is the heat exchanger also they called evaporator because the seawater evaporates with that part this is the check valve for the brine connect to the connect to the adapter that is the adapter going that is the seawater inlet temperature our seawater inlet temperature is 22 means this is the seawater connects to the going to the condenser at the top is the condenser this one is the vacuum adjustment vacuum adjustment also connects at the condenser and then 
going to the adapter as you can see the brine this is the check valve of the brine outside this below is the dosing pump valve or the chemical from the chemical tank this is the pressure for our seawater seawater line right now our freshwater generator is running salinity 2 ppm water ejector pump is running and distilled distillate pump is running distillate pump is used for suction suction or pumping the this distilled water used for distilled water our fresh water generator is Dongwa and tech this bulb is for vacuum vacuum breaker for chamber means if you open that one you lose the vacuum of the chamber this is the side glass as you can see this is the thermometer for the chamber this chamber at the top they called a condenser this is our reading for vacuum this is our gauge vacuum gauge this is our review our fresh water right now at the top is the condenser below is the evaporator or they called heat exchanger this is the outlet pressure for our seawater as you can see the bulb is open it's going to overboard this one is the side glass for the fresh water or the distilled water is produced going to distilled pump distillate pump and going to the tank and discharge going to the tank this is the pressure And then this pipe is going to the flow meter and then going to the tank. This is the salinometer sensor. <coughs> this is the thermometer for jacket outlet. This is the temperature for the jacket outlet. This is came from our chamber heat heater is the outlet fill this one is the salinity sensor via and pass through kilometer then if you clean this kilometer just close this bulb and it has a bypass this pipe is going to the fresh water tank then we will check the inlet this is the outlet heat from the heater this is inlet jacket inlet temperature means almost 80 centigrade
at the top of the distillate pump it has a solenoid it's a pipe going to the solenoid to the chamber it means if the water is produced is salty it will go back to the chamber this is the purpose of the solenoid this is the flow diagram as you can see seawater ejector produce seawater going to eductor going to condenser and then supply seawater below through evaporator condenser going supply seawater to evaporator this is the demister it's like a strainer this is the fresh water suction from distil distillate pump that is the produced fresh water this condenser is a seawater supply below that is the heater from jacket Donghua and Tech this big pipe where the check valve is connected that is the one who vacuum the chamber this one this one this is the pipe that suction the brine and make the chamber vacuum this is also adjusting adjusting for the vacuum this pipe is suction the brine and suction the chamber so that it produce a vacuum our chamber will produce a vacuum pressure that one this pipe the use of the adapter is to attack all brines and vacuum the chamber this one this is the adapter this is the adjusting vacuum adjusting vacuum adjusting vacuum valve this one is the one who feeds seawater going to evaporator and then that is the, the pipe that one supplies seawater at the evaporator then this is the heater the heater will heat up the seawater this one at the side it is the jacket this is the evaporator or the heat exchanger the heat source is from jacket cooling HT then as you can see you can check the side class but right now I cannot see or it cannot focus my camera is cannot focus inside and then when the seawater boils it's passed through the mister and then 
going to the condenser the purpose of the condenser is vapor converts to liquid the liquid is the fresh water that is the distilled fresh water means the boiling boiled seawater passed through demister and then passed through condenser the vapor is condensed it is produced a fresh water this is the site gas for our fresh water produce fresh water this is our seawater ejector pump this ejector pump supplies seawater for our fresh water generator a three phase induction motor 15 kilowatt okay see water suction has a filter also and then this discharge going to our fresh water generator okay this pipe is the discharge This is a recap, seawater from ejector pass through the top that is the condenser going to the overboard and then that's a pipe above and then that is the supply going to the evaporator which send seawater from the evaporator. Next below is the heat exchanger or the cold evaporator. This is from jacket cooling HT, it's the heater. It will heat up the seawater. Frequently asked question why is the water boiling at 50 to 60 degrees? Because our chamber temperature is 50 to 60 degrees right now. The answer is we need to reduce the pressure going to vacuum so that it will boil easily. Okay, normal example, the water is boiling point is 100. If you lower the pressure, it, you can boil the water with a lower temperature. Basic principle of this system is heat up the seawater using our jacket cooling HT. After it boils the seawater, it dries up and going to the condenser condenser is the seawater medium is cold and then the vapor is hot passed through the condenser it will convert liquid that is our fresh water distilled water if you like this video click thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates thank you very much